Shalom, I'm Yehoshua Quarren, and welcome to the Shalem Video Podcast, Episode 1. In this week's episode, we'll have a special inside look at a class with Rosh Tochnit Harav Yehuda Jason. We will be visiting our students at a very special chesed project called Latet, one of the largest food collecting organizations here in Eretz Yisrael. We'll have a special pre-Shabbos Shuva Hit Vadut with Yehuda Katz on the beach in Bat Yam. And we will be spending Shabbat Shuva at Mitsuke Dragot, a resort near the Dead Sea. First, let's take a look at the class with Rav Yehuda Jason. Why do you need to do well in college? Get a job. Get a cheap job. Why do you need to get a good job? To make money anyway. Why do you need to make lots of money? Support your children. Start your family. Start your family. To buy what you want, support your kids. But that's not the point. What is the ultimate goal? Alamaba, a spiritual existence, talking in the But in order for us to be able to understand and grasp that, like Katie said, we also have to relate to certain um, physical things. Because those physical things are the ones that are stepping stones to our understanding of how to get there. First of all, where is the Garden of Eden? In this world, where is it? What? That would be nice. We're not sure where the Garden of Eden is, right? I said to one of my classes yesterday or last week, but I don't think I've ever taught a class that one of you have not taught me something that's a much a nice idea. But Dara says that the clarity that we have, maybe it's not just the physicalness, it's also the clarity that we have as a result of that physical action is going to help us focus more. And that answers a question that I have in the run, but we don't really know what the goal of the Garden of Eden is. Next, we're going to visit our Shalem students as they are doing a chesed project with Latet. Latet organization, uh, Latet in English means to give, uh, supplies, food, uh, all over Israel. For the holidays, we collect money from uh, all kinds of donations and bought food. And today, we'll pack it in packages and deliver it to the needy people in Israel. Okay? Hi, everyone at home. Hi, Mom. Oh, I already put it on. So we're packaging beans, wine, other random things into uh, in the boxes to give to people. Mark, Mark, it is work, work, Mark. Stuff in the honey. Right now, I'm in charge of the honey. All right. Eight color bean soup, Vika, and soup mix for two such. Ooh. No, Shana 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 to perform a very special concert in preparation for Shabbat Shuvah in Yom Kippur. Let's take a look. <laughs> It's called Yom Hadin. Now, if you look in the Torah, you will not find any place that calls Rosh Hashanah Yom Hadin. It's Yom Teruah. Why? 
because that's the day Takshim, because that's the day that we're supposed to listen extra carefully what is Hashem saying to us Hashem is saying to us and only to us okay I'm still calling you I'm still calling out to you Ani korei lachem liot kedoshim I'm calling you to be holy so the question is are we listening <laughs> The concert was very special. Yehuda gave beautiful divrei Torah and singing the, the music of Reb Shlomo. Very wonderful, uplifting concert. Hope you enjoy the sneak peek. This past Shabbat, we had the, I had the pleasure of joining our students in Mitzvah Kedragot. Let's take a look as we head down to the Dead Sea. Hey, this is Yoshua. We are on our way to Mitsuke Dragot to meet up with the Shalem uh, group for this year. And we are uh, spending a special Shabbos Shuva in the desert on top of a mountain near the Dead Sea. And I uh, hope you enjoy the ride. Just gone below sea level. Welcome to Mitsuke Dragot. How's Dead Sea? Dead Sea was great. Here we are at Mitsuke Dragot. Here's an example of the rooms we have for Shabbat. I must admit, the atmosphere of Mitsuke Dragot was very, very special. We had a wonderful Shabbat. Uh, and one of our students, Ellie Zuckerberg, wrote on our blog, On Friday night, we davened Kabbalat Shabbat outside on a cliff, overlooking the Judean desert. Before Lachadodi, Rabbi Allen asked us to find a place to ourselves and for five minutes meditate quietly. The air was silent and still. And the desert was so vast and overwhelming. Taking a minute away from everyday distractions, looking out at what Hashem created was so moving and it definitely led to a more meaningful davening. We had a wonderful Shabbat dinner and afterward we split up into discussion groups and learned about some halachot about being happy on Shabbat. She ends by saying, all in all, it was a great Shabbat. It was especially wonderful to see how connected Shalem 0607 really was. Gemar Chatimah to everybody. And for me as well, your host, Yehoshua Koren, I also wish you uh, Shana Tova Umetuka. Please make sure to visit our blog, shalem.livejournal.com, as well as our photo gallery, ishalem.net slash gallery. Until next time, Koltuf.